Hey, what up everybody? This is another, this is another build that you guys have wanted to see from me now. Due to my family tragedies last week, I wasn't able to release this build, but here it is for you. This is the ultimate Revenant Axe, all right? So this is a very different style to what you've seen previously, but it is very strong. I'm going to show you how to build it right now. Malignant Scourge is your axe, okay? Zeal Cell, Omni Surge Cell. Now you can feel free to use Chronovore if you want to. Okay, if you want to, nobody's going to stop you. All right, some people prefer the Chronovore style. I do too, but it can sometimes cause problems. I'm actually going to show you the Chronovore style later, all right? But start out with Malignant Scourge, okay? Sovereign's Wrath here. And then you want to put in an Omni Surge cell here, and you want to have a Zeal cell, all right? Now, you can either go Zeal or Parasitic, but honestly, I prefer Zeal. Um, it just keeps me alive a lot better. Revenant will be your Omni Cell, all right? Scarn's Defiance with the Omni Surge Cell will be your Lantern. Sight of Stone with the Toughness Cell. Agaric Bowl with a Zeal Cell. Malkyrion's Grasp with a Pulse Cell. And Chrono Treads with a Predator Cell. Now you can actually swap the Pulse and Predator here and you'd still have the same, same uh, effect, okay? It's just that I put it in a weird way because I was uh, constructing it that way. But overall, you've got your plus six Omni Surge, okay? Every time you activate Revenant, you will cool down your Lantern. Plus six Predator for more damage. Plus six Pulse, because Axe needs Pulse. Plus six Toughness for more casting of Revenant. Plus six Zeal for more shielding, keeping you alive. Parasitic for more casts of Revenant. And the Sharpen comes from your Kosh Eyes. Now, if you do not want this version of the Axe, I'm going to show you the other alternative to the Revenant Axe, and that is this version. This is a similar style, but using the Chronovore Axe instead, okay? Existential Crisis, Predator Cell, Omnisurge Cell, okay? Edge of Dawn is your bond. Revenant Omni Cell, Scarn's Lantern here, same thing, Omni Surge here. Sight of Stone here with the Toughness Cell. Thraxus Shadow with the Predator Cell. Might of Stone with the Parasitic Cell for your Fortress. And you've got your Chrono Treads with a Pulse Cell. All right, overall, either either one of these builds is effective. I'll show you the alternative with Kosh Eyes first, because a lot of people have enjoyed that, but um, the Chronovore one works well, all right? So if you guys don't want to see the combat showcase, feel free to like, share, and subscribe right now, all right? Um, I highly recommend that you do, because, of course, that helps out with my revenue and everything. We'll go to All Rigs Peak, 6 to 9 area. So feel free to like, share, and subscribe right now. You want to support my content, you can drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can send super thanks on YouTube. You can become a channel member, get various perks, or just uh, purchase Asian Robot merchandise, all right? Now, with the Koshai style, your base damage is higher because you have the 50% increase from the Koshai. But what you guys got to understand is that the Cornivore style gives you double attack chances and higher crit damage. And because you often guarantee the crit on the throw, that can really boost up your damage even further. So you're basically weighing the pros and cons here. Um, again, it's genuinely up to you which style you prefer to play. Okay, some people are just used to Kosh Eyes, and that's why I made a build with Kosh Eyes. But like I said, Cornivore is also one of the ideals. I, and both of them have a self-revive even if you go down. So feel free to play recklessly if that's what you want. Now, the first creature that we're going to completely terminate is this poor little beaver standing here. Ooh, give me that. Okay. Now, as you can see, the beaver is standing there being a beaver. Give it a taste of reality. As soon as you get the chance, use your critical revenant just like that. You get knocked back and all that stuff, don't even worry about it. With your guaranteed crit from the pulse, just hit it hard. Oh shit, triggered it at the wrong time, but that's okay. Because I was just about to heal, oh well. I try to at least make sure that even if the full bar is not ready, the pulse throw is ready for the next behemoth, which is going to be a Shrike. All right. 
So again, you don't have to fear anything here. Um, the build itself is very strong. Ideally, though, you just want to be careful of... Um, <laughs> You just, you just kind of want to be careful of how you utilize your abilities because the Koshai's throw is important. It is very, very important. All right, so you gotta, you want to have that up whenever you're about to at least throw because that's going to be an instant knockdown and that means a, a good cast of Revenant usually. I'll try to get up to snuff Usually after something like that happens. Try and dish out a headshot. If I can. Hit them with more Revenant. Sometimes things might not go your way, but that's okay. And sometimes you may forget your Koshai's bond, but that's okay. Your Revenant will basically cover all that damage anyway. So yeah, basically that's how you play. Super easy to use, all right? Um, like I said, choose the style you want, whether it's Chronovore or Koshai, it's entirely up to you. Oops, sorry for touching my microphone. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you understand how to properly smack things down with the Ultimate Revenant Axe. And let me just say my thank you before the like, share, and subscribe. Big thanks to the Throne of Honor, Puni Puni Only Fan, Nate the Great Only Fan, JP Best, Prestige, Zach NFG, Prestige, Ian. Uh, sorry, the Forgotten Prestige, Ian Bodress Prestige. Thank you guys so much. If you want to support my content, drop a tip right now via the link in the description of the video. It'll help my family out. You can also send super thanks on YouTube, become a channel member, or purchase Asian robot merchandise. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's the most important. All right, and last but not least, thank you to November's top supporters. Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer43, Savvy Uzumaki, Alcorn0511, Alien Frost 80, Kazmanta, my lovely girls, Zach NFG, Starbuzz, Lucifer Von Tau X, Puni Puni, Rogue Assassin, Arshaz Guardsy, Lucas Graham, I'm a boxhead. Thank you guys so much for supporting my family. I appreciate that. And we will see you all on the next one, folks. Bye bye.